To the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, I'm going to rattle a bunch of feathers this morning. But um, the truth must be told. And if I got to be the one to tell it, then let me go forth and tell it. So, whatever side of the diaspora that you on, let me welcome you, first of all, to the mental house, okay? And um, I want to give a big shout-out to the South Carolina, the Gamecocks. <laughs> the Gamecocks. <laughs> welcome, and congratulations on your second win, what, in three years? Great job. And you have one of my, um, I guess one of my favorite players. Well, I take that back. Cause Cheryl Miller was my favorite player. And we had Ann Myers. She was good. But let's talk about Don Staten. Don, I love how you acknowledge God and everything that you do. I love that you put God first. Um, but when you start talking that favored stuff and you following an agenda that, that that that's no part of God and God ain't revealed that to your heart, then I got to back up off you, sister. Because there is no way in hell does a transgender need to be in women's basketball. This don't need to be no damn Juana man. And I'm sorry for all of y'all who are angry with me, and you know it's got nothing to do with no homophobia or nothing like that for you to say it to me. Okay? I don't got no problem with gay people. I don't got no problem with bisexual people. I don't even got no problem with drag queens at all because that's what they called them when I was coming up. But you are not going to tell me that I got to accept something that is totally against, in my opinion, what the truth is. And I'm standing on the truth. And you know damn well, just like the swimmer that's beating everybody uh, with her big-ass lungs, or the kickboxer who done kicked, cracked a woman's skull, Knocking their teeth out. And you talking about you want a man who has been transformed into a woman. And you going, I don't care. Oh, y'all going to get mad at me. This video might not even get monetized. Matter of fact, I ain't going to monetize it because I want it to get out. This is when you call. My mama used to always say, if I give you an inch, you take a mile. This is what you call going too far. And if you don't have enough common sense to realize that, don't put God in that. Put in that they done gave me a big ass bag. I'm the highest paid, let alone black coach, but I'm the highest paid female coach um, in America. I got the bag now. So whatever these people say they want to do, you know, hey, I, God find favor in me. Uh, uh, no, don't don't bring that damn narcissistic shit. God made a man, and God made a woman. The woman got a womb. Now you can get it taken out if you want to, because all those variations in between is just your ego and how you feel. You either born a man or a woman, and because you have a surgery. It is not going to make you a woman. And if you a woman because you have a surgery, it ain't going to make you no man. And you can't move as a transgender woman 
like you would move in men's spaces unless the men are effeminate extremely or if or for lack of better term gay themselves because if you go with some hard sweaty uh crass men talking about you a transgender woman that's a space you're not gonna stay in very long not only will you not be you know welcome i mean the 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 energy is too different and it does not mean that i'm talking about y'all i'm talking about somebody need to be a person that says y'all gone too far and if you follow this devil wherever they trying to take you and you don't have enough common sense to say hey or because i get a bag i'm gonna be like mm, i don't see this I think transgenders have the right to do whatever they want to do. If they really, really, really want to play basketball, they shouldn't play in a women's league. Let them get their own damn league full of transgender people. And I think that's the fairest thing that can possibly happen. What's wrong with y'all common sense? What's wrong with it? Common sense ain't that common no more. That's the only thing I can think of. Because... Bruce Jenner, the triathlon athlete, I don't think, well, probably now, a woman could beat him. But in his heyday, couldn't nobody throw that javelin like Bruce? Okay? And let's just stop acting like this is the game. You know, just because you gay don't mean you got to be transgender. Just because you like the same sex don't mean you got to uh, tear off your center, your antennas. I just don't understand. And now it's gone too damn far. And I'm the most liberal thinker that it possibly is, but you are not going to convince me that a man can come over in a woman's space and not dominate her. And not dominate her. So it's not going to be the WNBA no more. You can't do it. Some things you got to stop. You got to draw the damn line. Now enough of this craziness. And guess what? Who's the author of confusion? Huh? That's all I got to ask you. Black people. And white folks who get it. Who is the author of confusion? And you don't know? Well, let me say it for you. Make it real plain. Satan. Satan is the author of confusion and makes evil fair semen. Keep playing. Don, you know better. And you sit up there and give, oh, thank God from whom all blessings flow. But now that you done got that bag, you saying a man can sit up here and dominate women? Some Juana man on the court? Well, I'm not for that. Cheryl Miller is the most realist and one of the best uh, female players that ever played the game. And she said it came a time where, hell, you know, I just couldn't mess with uh, Reggie no more. He got too tall. He got too strong. And you know how skinny Reggie was? A little skinny thing. Come on, y'all. Come on now. It's going too damn far. Now, get mad if you want to. Nothing but truth will hurt that bad. So it's a bitter pill to swallow, but it is what it is. Trans, get your own league, and I'll support it, and I'll watch it, but I certainly don't want you coming over to women's spaces and being Juana man. Now, with that being said, whoo, I had to get it off. Thank you, Lord, for the angels of protection. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share to my channel. I mean, subscribe to my channel and share my video.